Good morning. So uh, I'm starting First Thessalonians today, and uh, <clears throat> uh, this is that Bible that I tell y'all about that has the the little side notes and stuff, and it has some from just from all kinds of different books that go along with the with the with the chapters and everything. And so for First Thessalonians, the observation says that the Thessalonians were commended for their faith and good works. They became an example of faith and love to all believers, which is awesome. Like, how cool would it be for, like, that to be said about us? You know what I mean? That we were commended for our faith and our good works and that we are examples of faith and love to all believers. Like, that should definitely be something that we aim for. The inspiration of it, or from it, says... It says, I have found that the casual Christian has little or no influence upon others. Now, I know sometimes I fall into that, being a casual Christian, but I don't. that's not who I want to be. And uh, definitely, I don't want to be a casual Christian. It says that I am finding that it is only the Christian who refuses to compromise in matters of honesty, integrity, and morality who is bearing an effective witness for Christ. The worldly Christian is prepared to do as the world does and will condone practices which are disobedient and unethical because he's afraid of the world's displeasure. Only by a life of obedience to the voice of the Spirit, by daily dying to self, by a full dedication to Christ and constant fellowship with him, are we able to live a godly life and have a positive influence in this present ungodly world i just thought that was so good and i wanted to share that with y'all just because like to my christian friends it's like i don't want us to fall into that category to where we are unaffected to where we do we're not helping other believers you know where we're not a good example of what following christ should look like and uh so i read it and i was just like wow like it hit me really hard and so that's why i wanted to share it on here if you uh not if you have time make time today and get in your bible uh if you want to read first thessalonians it's very short only like 10 verses if you want to read that read it message me we'll talk about it you know like i mean i love doing that like little bible studies over you know over the online or whatever so uh But yeah, get in your Bible today, definitely. Love y'all. God bless.